Hello student, welcome back to Ramsar Bio class. So today our in NET section, we start a very new chapter in the class 12 part. This chapter is very important for our real life, also in our NET exam. In two aspects, this subject or this topic is very important. So you know the human reproductions in the last class, in the reproduction in organism, when we discuss the first chapter of class 12, that time we discuss that human reproduction is a sexual reproduction. So in so here, both male and female organism and their gametes, male and female gametes is most important and they are close together and after that the baby ultimately come into the world. So this is a sexual process. Human beings are reproduced by the help of sexual reproduction. So you know, in our society, what is happening? You are observed your friends, right? That when you are uh, look at the males are generally attracted them, attract with the female. Why? They have, have some reason. They have some abolition issue by which this type of effect are happening. You know, ultimately in that particular part we discuss in the uh, one by one in the different part we discuss. But all of the sexual uh, activities happening in your mind, in your body, from a particular time frame. This time ultimately called the puberty. Puberty it is a time of change. Lots of change are happening in your body, in your mind. This chapter is very important not only for your educational purpose, it is also we learn every parents, right? How their child ultimately change in the particular in this age. What type of changes are happening that is also be very important for act as a parents. That uh, that is also the important knowledge. Uh, in the chapter, I also give you this knowledge to the parents also. So this chapter is both both the important. For, for your NETs, for your study, for your ultimately getting the knowledge. So this is ultimately change, secondary sexual character develop. That time you know, uh, before that in the puberty, the male or female, the children are attracted, are uh, attracted to their parents. But when they reach the, they reach the puberty, that time they attract with the opposite sex. Male with uh, ultimately attracted with the female, female also be attracted with the male. This type of uh, attraction is ultimately developed after the puberty. But why this type of is attraction is developed? Why? Because behind it, the different hormonal activities ultimately behind it. You know the puberty. This is ultimately it is in the girls. It is start in the ten to eleven years. But maximum female are achieved this in that particular year, finish at the age of 15 or 17. But you know, in the boys, that is uh, puberty, ultimately they reach into some later time. That means in the 11 to 12, but 13 years, after it is finished to 16 to 17 years. So you, uh, if you compare the male and female, that time you observe that female are more uh, mature compared to male in a particular same age. Why? Because due to the effect of the puberty. But why the puberty are really happening? Why the puberty like symptoms are happening? Because behind it different hormonal activities is there. This is called the adolescence. You know, the primary sexual characters, secondary sexual characters are developed in that time. What is the uh, primary sexual characters? Like body structure, they, they are that make the sexual reproductive uh, possible. Like you know, in the female body, the ovary are developed. In the case of male, the testes are developed that time. And external genitalia, like mammary glands, like uh, the penis, uh, are developed out uh, the testes are developed at that particular age. Why? Due to the hormonal activities. What type of hormone? Sexual hormone. Like testosterone in the case of male, in the female, estrogen and progesterone take the important role. Most important the estrogen. Also, the some secondary sexual character also be developed in particular in time the adolescence. Like in here, non-reproductive sexual character. Like the female breast and hips development, 
male voice quality and body hair development this is also be developed in the time of adolescence so it is called the secondary sexual character so from this uh, adolescence what particular term are used in the finger that is called a minor what is the mean by the minor minor is the first menstrual period start that means in the finger body the ovulation has start right this is called the minor so this is the adolescent stage and their importance both the primary and secondary sexual characters are developed in that particular time uh, but you know this time is most important not only for the uh, health and body aspect and psychological also some changes are happening but you know in that particular chapter we discuss male reproductive system like female reproductive system one by one we discuss particular this topic structure of sperm structure of ovum menstrual cycle all of this thing we discuss particular that point but today we discuss the male reproductive system only how it is the male reproductive system what is the different parts is there that is we discuss in our today class now first of all the male reproductive structure what is their function production of gametes and it is helping the copulation that means the uh, transfer of pollen grains sorry 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 transfer of the sperm to the female body that is the most important process in here the sexual intercourse is very important role play or take the important role because for that reason the sperm are transported into the female body now in the uh, male reproductive uh, system the different parts is there like the scrotum like the scrotal sac like the testes like the vasti fronts ejaculatory ducts urethra and the penis all of the take the important roles in the reproductive system or their reproductive activities right so at first we discuss about the structure of the male reproductive system so at first we start from the part the scrotum but what is the scrotum you know this is a pouch like structure where the testes are present testes are enclosed by the structure of the scrotum it is ultimately smooth muscle in their nature and thermo regulator system because they provide the temperature which is most important like you know the scrotal sac scrotal sac that means hold the scrotum in the right place and during the seven month of the development in the body the baby testes descend in scrotal sac through the inguinal canal this is a canal like structure by which they are transferred from abdomen to scrotum scrotum provide the temperature 2 to 3 degree lower than the body temperature show the temperature of the scrotum is 35 degrees celsius that is most important to production of the sperm should is the help of the spermatogenesis process now we discuss about the structure of the testes the testes have a two part like the, it is the external structure or the internal structure but we will discuss the histological like internal structure that time you are discuss that the testes are covered by a uh, membranous structure fibrous connective tissue that is called the tunica albiginea on the other hand tunica vaginalis is the second incomplete peritoneal covering but most important covering that is the tunica albiginea tunica vasculitis is another part is there this is a form by the network of capillaries there is a third layer present above the testes they take the important role they are protection and nutrition of provide of the testes so this is the structure of the testes now the seminiferous tubules so where it is present if you go internal of the testis structure so where the different stage of spermatogenesis are happening you know the ultimate testis have some compartment in the compartment the tube like structure is there that is called the seminiferous tubules if you are section and section this tube that can you observe that this is the structure of the seminiferous tube in here lots of differences is there most important inside the seminiferous tubules most importantly two cells is there one is the spermatogonium in that particular cells they have chromosome number 2a on the other hand sartori cells what is the function of these two cells spermatogonium they take the important role in the production of spermatogenesis spermatogonium chromosome number 2a 
and the sperm are produced that contain the n number of chromosome but how it is possible by the meiosis process but you know inside the semiconductor tubules a long structural cell are present that is called the sartori cells but what is their function sartori cells give the nourishment to the developing the sperm or the surrounding cells primary spermatocyte secondary spermatocyte they get the nutrient from the sartori cells where it is present in the semiconductor tubules but another cells is present that is the radix cells you know in that particular structure not only a single tubular structure is there many tubular structure coil together but between the two between the two semiconductor tubules the cells are present that is the radix cells or so this is called the interstitial cells of radix why because they present between the two semiconductor tubules so what is their function they function that that they produce or secrete the testosterone hormone that is the male secondary sexual uh, hormones which is develop the secondary sexual characteristic features now we discuss about the first efferent cell you, you know this is like the semiconductor tubules next you ultimately develop that where they are ultimately covering uh, ultimately joining together that then the reta testes are formed in here this one is semiconductor tubules after that it is the reta testes clear after that but what is the reta testes reta testes after joining they form the vas efferentia vas efferentia this one is vas efferentia next they are form the epididyme structure this one there is the epididyme structure after the epididyme is this structure are called the vas deferens it is the different parts of the different uh, accessory part of our male reproductive system that the important role to transport the sperm but you know the this articular structure is called the epididyme it is the c shaped and super coiled structure it has the three regions one is called the head region another region it is called the body region and this one is called the tail region right but this has a different name the head region and the uh, uh, different region like the caudal epididyme is corpus epididyme is middle part and the caudio epididyme is it is the another name of the tail epididyme is so epididyme is have the three regions also this is important in your uh any t also in the different uh, medical entrance so sperm are given to temporarily in the epididyme is that is the function of the epididyme is also now the accessory sex gland two three important sex gland glands is there in the male reproductive system what is it seminal seminal vesicle prostate gland and the copper glands but what is their function seminal vesicle is the most important glands they have the fructose rich substance the secrets are generally various fluid that contain 60% volume of the semen the fluid contain like prostaglandins what is their function they stimulate the contraction of female tract for fertilization fructose they contain and they provide the energy of the sperm also fibrinogen coagulating agents after ejaculation of the semen all of this contain in the seminiferous uh, seminal vesicle after you know this is one the prostate gland it is the whitish fluid and they contain 30% of the semen what is the semen semen is a mixture of sperm and the different gland secretion but 30% of the semen are the from prostate gland they have the fluid they are, they are alkaline fluids that is neutralize the acidity of the vaginal secretion and you know this one is the corpus gland they are function they also be called is the valve urethral glands they secrete the alkaline fluids also they secrete the mucus it is their important function so this is the semen the semen ultimately what is it it is the white is ultimately fluid they are mixture of spermatozoa that means sperm and mixture of different secretion of glands right so in single ejaculation 3 to 4 ml of semen is secreted from the body which contain approx 300 million of sperm you cannot imagine this thing so interesting right 
So the semen is the most important part. You know. Next of all, we discuss that ejaculatory duct. Ejaculatory duct means which is help to eject the semen from the male to female part. And what is there? Vas deferens, seminal vesicles, and both ducts are generally open into the urethra. You know. It is function. What is their function of the ejaculatory duct? They carry the sperm. Only they carry the sperm. It is their function. And urethra is a common pathway for both urine and the sperm. So in the male, only one passage is there, right? And last part we discuss that is the penis. Penis is the most important one muscular structure, cylindrical and like the found in the pelvic region, pubic regions, and it is a copulatory organ helping the sexual intercourse. So, urethra pass through the length that mainly consists of the erectile tissue. Also, the acrosal blood circulation increase that time when the time of sexual intercourse at the end of the, uh, make the penis a redact. So, we can have the process of two types of tissue like the uh, <coughs> corpora cambriensia uh, and the corpora spongiensian. So, these are really found tip of the penis. Tip of the penis also it is called vertically covered by a skin that is called the foreskin. That is very sensitive in structure. So, this is the male reproductive system. We discuss the all of the different parts and their functions. Right? So, if any doubts, please write in the comment section. I discuss it with you in the next class. Right? So, please, uh, if it is helpful to you to understand this topic, the reproductive system. So, please, you like this video. If you do not understand anything from this chapter, also provide the dislike option. Right? Because dislike option also be important for uh, every human beings. Because from the dislike section, we try to overcome the problem. So if you like, if you understand this topic, please you like. If you do not understand, so please you dislike. Okay. And if you understand this thing, please you share your for, to your friends uh, because they also will learn from that, uh, that from our part uh, and they are enjoy the study and they get a chance of the medical college also. Right, so thank you, thank you very much. Next, we will discuss about the female reproductive system. Thank you, thank you very much.